I'd like to ask the Minister for Infrastructure whether buses on the island are fitted with winter tyres during periods of adverse weather. And the Minister for Infrastructure, Honourable Member for Peel and Glen Faber, Mr Harmon. Thank you, Mr President. I can confirm that Ireland's buses are not fitted with winter tyres. Although the cost premium for winter tyres is less than 10%, moving to winter tyres would create significant additional costs for, for next to no benefit. The costs are caused by the increased rate of wear suffered by winter tyres. Winter tyres wear very quickly when used on roads that are not snowy or icy. To avoid this, they would have to be fitted and removed based on forecast conditions. The cost of fitting and removing 450 tyres each time bad weather was forecast would be prohibitive as the cost of providing indoor storage for 450 the bulk of the year. The climate on the island does not ju justify the use of winter tyres. They are not generally used in the UK, with buses remaining on generally general rated urban tyres. They are sometimes fitted to coaches undertaking ski trip charters to the Alps. Taking into account the island's climate, our road conditions and the manufacturer's advice, properly fitted and maintained, generally rated urban tyres provide the best overall performance for our buses. Honourable members will know that, that the primary method of dealing with winter conditions is separating spreading of salt grit on our roads. Our gritting routes have been publicly available for many years. Primary and bus routes are given priority for gritting. Gritting is not an exact science, but DOI staff in the Met Office and Ellerslie Control work each winter night to balance the predicted timing of rain, snow or frost, with the cost of gritting to make sure that the roads are treated at the right time without the cost of gritting too early or the impact of gritting too late. Despite these challenges, gritting, gritting the roads so that every user can use the highway is far better way to spend taxpayers' money than swapping buses on and off winter tyres, even if the cost to the taxpayer was not a concern, a bus with winter tyres would soon, too, all too soon be stuck behind a car without them. Supplementary, Dr Allenson. Thank you, Mr President. I'd like to thank the Minister um, for his reply and also congratulate the gritters who were out during the um, recent very bad weather and kept the majority of the roads open. The, the um, rationale behind this question was, in fact, some of this disruption um, in certain areas that had stopped the buses running and it had direct implications for the um, education service where at short notice they had to cancel schools because children couldn't get to the schools. So w could I ask the Minister to um, look into perhaps if we continue to have problems in certain areas, perhaps look at equipping certain buses that are doing the school run with winter tyres so that we don't have the interruption of the um, education service which has massive economic um, effects on parents and the children and the education service itself. Minister to reply. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Mr President. Um, there's, no, um, there, there's no hard and fast guarantees when there will be a risk of snow and ice, as ice, icy conditions can be reasonably expected to strike at any time within, within, between November and April. And uh, we would have to fit uh, winter tyres on all buses. There isn't a bus for a particular route, unfortunately. Um, so, um, and in terms, of, in terms of the recent snow weather, there was um, difficulty moving buses safely through Duncan, Douglas and Onken, despite overnight gritting. A delay of an hour or so would have allowed us to start most services, though in fact it took till lunchtime to get all the services operating properly. We have reviewed our processes for communicating with our colleagues in the Department of Education, Sport and Culture and have brought forward the decision so that the announcements are made no later than 7.30. Despite our best efforts, we cannot always know how conditions will change in day, and our priority is always to make sure that we do not take to school any child that we may not be able to bring home again. 